Hey everyone, Dominator here from the Infectious Racing Club. So we're going to go over the Porsche uh, 911 Targa 4S Car Riot today. A good opportunity to get the epics that you need to uh, possibly gold this car and get yourself um, an extra stage in the Carrera GT special event. So let's do it. At the start, um, the AI is going to get closed because you're a little bit tight against the wall, so they are going to come in front of you. This is where you're going to want to use your nitro to take them out. In all honesty, that's the first time that uh, they've gotten that close to me and then been stuck in front of me out of every try that I've done. Here we're just going to go as far left as possible without touching the sidewalk so that we can swing right around this corner. And here we're going to use orange nitro because we're going to want to get up to or we're going to want to pick up our top speed as well as this section of uh, sidewalk will slow you down. And we're also going to want to be careful about this patch of sidewalk here not to go over it completely otherwise you will lose speed as well. Here we'll pick up a near miss off of this truck and we should get a perfect run if you don't hit any of the sides so that will help us get back up to top speed as well. We're going to pick up the yellow bottle and then we're going to keep it. We're going to pick up the near miss off this car. You see that I'm left and now I'm starting to move in right and so with my drifting here I'm staying in nice and tight. Well, it could be a little bit tighter but I am tight on the right hand side. That will keep me from going into the wall on the left hand side but will also position me pretty well in the center as well as I can stop my drift a little bit sooner because I can afford more space without hitting the wall. And now that we've collected that blue nitro bottle, we'll move into shockwave to get up to top speed and then I'm going to turn it off because there's a patch right here of sidewalk that also slows you down. So I'm into orange nitro to power through this section right here. Then we'll turn it off once we're back on to the roadway and then use yellow nitro, do 360s off this jump and you're going to want to hit this one here as well so that you can continue the 360s in the air and on this side as well you're going to want to drop down to the road so we're maintaining our top speed and we can pick up this blue bottle if you can and here this is going to be just some drifting without the accelerator on but it's a nice wide turn so it doesn't have to be a lot of drifting here um, you're going to want to you know try and stay off of the sidewalk here coming up on the right but you should be perfectly fine if you're letting go of the uh, the drifting early and then tapping the car back into position i'm using the orange nitro to get myself back up the top speed remember the more you drift with this car the more uh, speed you lose so you want to be very conservative in your drifting 
Now I picked up that blue bottle and I'm saving it for this patch right here where there is a slow spot and then I'm turning it off and then going to use what remaining nitro I have to just power through off this jump here. I'm going to do the same here. I got a perfect run. So I'm just going to use a little bit to get some air top speed down here, turn it off and then use the rest to power through on that jump here. Now, when you're coming down, you don't want to hit this portion of sidewalk here on the right. That will slow you down too. You're going to want to be careful around these corners here. Now I'm starting to drift without the accelerator on now. And the idea here for me is that I'm going to aim for that yellow nitro bottle. And so I've let go of the drift, although I am not nicely angled at the moment. And that's because when I let go, the car will start to grip better. And then I'll be able to just tap my way to get that yellow nitro bottle without hitting the sidewalk here on the side. And I'm keeping up my top speed. And at this point, I'm already back up. If you get nice and high on these ramps as we move from right to left, See, as you see, we've just missed, but anyway, if you get the car's left tire, on this case, up onto that third little patch to the highest you can, you'll get the double rotation, which is important. Here, I collect and gather that nitro off of the uh, barrel roll, and then I'm going to keep some for this section right here, and then use orange to fly into the air, and then turn it off again so that I can have enough for when I drift around here. And if you haven't hit a wall at this point, you should get another perfect run. And then we'll move into shockwave right here. We're gonna get a near miss off of this car and then another one off that bus. I recommend avoiding the blue nitro bottles because they are on a patch of sidewalk. So unless you have lots of nitro, um, even yellow nitro is insufficient to maintain your top speed while getting them. So I think it's more of a uh, it's best to avoid getting those blue bottles and it will be a temptation to get them but you'll lose more speed in the end. We're just going to avoid the patches of sidewalk here and then you know a little bit on the left there but we shouldn't be going that far over. So I've collected uh, a perfect run now I'm gonna get a near miss off of this car here and we're gonna get the yellow nitro bottle and in this portion here I've just let go of the accelerator a little bit, uh, put it back on, take it back off, just until I get around this corner without having to drift. I found that I'm maintaining my top speed a lot better when I do that. Now with this blue nitro bottle, I'll have shockwave, which I'll use right here for a little bit, just to get up to speed a little bit more. And then I'm gonna turn it off and go into blue nitro over that sidewalk patch and drift around this corner here, trying to avoid one, that wall. You hit that uh, pretty well on, you crash or wreck, I don't know why. Um, and just try to avoid the sidewalk too, because it will slow you down, obviously, in this case. Now, I am going to use orange nitro because the drifting uh, without the accelerator on obviously put me on it. So we'll get the orange nitro going, get myself off quickly. Pick up the yellow bottle and now we're going to get into blue nitro as we go around that corner um, so that if we get onto the sidewalk like I did, there's no problems um, as well as, you know, we're not going to lose speed as we round the corner. And that is a 144.402 at the moment, good for 14th. and you'll get five or two epic import parts and reach the top five percent so good luck to you racers in this event and i'll see you in the top five percent